Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video from Bird1. Today I'm going to show you something brand new. It is the Bird1.com website. So what if I change to the website? Literally everything. So the front page is totally different than it was before and I added all my links. So like the YouTube, the Twitter and Facebook of me. Uh, if you want to buy anything on Amazon, I have Amazon.com, Amazon.co.uk and Amazon for Germans. And also, it's very important that you know where to go. So first of all, this is some sort of new uh, kind of desktop for you guys later on, because I'm going to introduce the Ethereum current price, the blockchains with every currency like uh, Bitcoin and whatsoever. It's going to be displayed on the front page of Bird1. But that needs some construction and some work and still a lot of figuring out. But for now I have two categories already uh, ready to set up and that's the blockchain knowledge and buy your miner. So if you want to buy your miner, you just have to go to the page and click on the icon. You'll see that you can buy the mining hardware over here and the complete parts list is over here. So I tell you what step you need to do, like buy the graphics cards and it's even sorted by um, by brand name and you can buy them on amazon.com, co.uk and amazon.de because many of you guys are international and all over the world I had to do all of these links for you guys so it's pretty easy and of course you could always buy it from your local store and give you an idea on what to buy but of course I uh, also ordered them on which one is the best to buy so the first one is Asus cards I really love them the most at this very moment because they are very silent and I think that's one of the most critical components on a mining rig and second of all the MSI cards are over here and so on so it's really not too difficult and it's still under construction of course but hopefully you guys can find out uh, everything that you need to know and if you want to change something just uh, tell me but if you want to go back just click on the top icon again and you'll be redirected to the main page but now we're gonna go and have a look at the blockchain knowledge so first of all when you open it you'll see that there is a small tab about a blockchain how it will change the world I'm still working on that and looking out on how we're gonna introduce this next up we're gonna look at what's my part and what's yours that page is still not done but over here I have a very special thing that we all would like to know the GPU serials page is gonna be for the RX series so people can see which memory type belongs to which serial so we know that Alpida, Hynix, Micron and Samsung belong to a specific serial number but we don't know what it is yet so I made a little graph over here uh, that should show all the serial numbers that I know so we need to have a lot of people telling us the serial numbers or at least the beginning serial numbers of their cards with the belonging uh, memory type you can do this just by um, posting me on Twitter like hey this is my brand card and give me the full name of course give me the the serial like this and give me the memory type that's all I need so I can add it to the GPU database for serials so for now I have uh, a few serial brands from people across the world so let's see for example Elpida is in Russia 1643 and the rest of the people told me it's uh, 641 and 640. So it's it's in the area of 640 that you're gonna have the Alpida card. But for example, a Samsung can also be a 6041 that an Alpida has. So maybe the card got switched over there. But in Russia, it's totally different again. It's 47 over there and 45 as well. But the only one I recorded for the Sapphire RX 470 4GB is the 610 to be Micron. So I don't know how we're going to do this, like uh, how fast it's going to go. But if you guys cooperate with me and try to get as many serials as possible, please help out because it's going to be a lot of work because you know there's a lot of versions about the Sapphire RX 470s alone like the 8 gigabyte version, the not overclocked version, the 484 gigabyte, the 4 gigabyte not overclocked. It's, it's just a list that's gonna continue on on every brand, MSI, XFX and even Asus cards. But also I put the links in the description uh, below the card so you can buy them instantly if you want to 
and see which price is the most cheapest at the moment because that's going to be one very important feature later on too that i'm going to say like hey this is a cheap build right at this moment on amazon and you can buy it really cheaply so that's the main feature also that we're going to introduce later on but also i'm going to make the gpu hash rates database for you guys to know which hash rates the cards do on different kind of coins of course that's going to be a lot of benchmarking and a lot of uh, you guys helping me out on finding the hash rates of all the cards, but that one is not finished yet And that's gonna take some work later on too But next of all we have the GPU mine coins this tab is not done yet But I'm gonna explain you all the GPU mine coins uh, Very shortly and tell them what they do what they're uh, specifically for how profitable they are and Things like that. So that's gonna be pretty good too later on and next up we have the mining software, so if you want to uh, download the latest miner, you have to go to this page and you'll see that I got some Claymore Zcash miners for Ethereum and Monero. And over here I will display the most recent miners that are available. So for Windows and Linux of course, uh, all of the time. But of course this is still a lot of work to do and if you guys have some brilliant ideas I really would like to know them. And I, I just wanted to share this with you guys that we can change the world with making a difference using the blockchain uh, Cooperating growing the community. I really like it because you guys have been growing my channel greatly We almost hit 2300 subscribers now and we're growing pretty big. So I really appreciate Appreciate all your help. It's really been fun. Hope you all enjoyed this video and I'm sorry that it's so shitty But <laughs> I just had to make it